Hey guys, this is Jersey Rock, and in this video I'm going to show you how to flash a ROM kernel on your HTC Evo. Uh, if you have any other Android device that's rooted, you could actually follow the same steps. Uh, before you actually flash anything, there's just a few things you got to do beforehand. Uh, first and foremost, pick whichever ROM you want. Um, my personal favorite is Veilpack. I use it all the time. Um, I try other ROMs out here and there, and one of the ones I tried out that I actually liked uh, was Min's Warm 2.2. And that's going to be the ROM that I'm going to download in this demonstration. Um, all ROMs come with kernels. You don't have to flash a separate ROM. Uh, sorry, a separate kernel. But uh, if you want, you know, changes in battery life or performance and stuff like that, then uh, definitely something you want, you're going to want to give a try. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to flash the ROM and then the kernel. So I got the ROM picked out. I already have the kernel installed, um, download on my computer. I keep everything in this little file right here. This is Mint's Warm, and this is the kernel. So once you got your ROMs picked out, or your ROM and kernel picked out and saved on the computer, um, now it comes time to back up some of your data. Uh, of course, you're going to want to say uh, back up your contacts. So just go to Menu, Settings, Accounts and Sync, Google, and on the bottom left you'll see Sync Now. Just hit that, and it'll, it'll sync everything in the background. If you want to save uh, your applications or back them up, whatever, you have some options. First option is to use Titanium Backup. There's two versions of that. They're free and they're paid. The free version, you have to back up um, each application one by one. The paid version will batch it and just save everything all at once. I don't use it. Um, I've had issues with it in the past, and I know some people that continue to have some issues with it. But I think that's far in between, and for the most part, it should be okay. Uh, my alternative, what I use, is an application called AppBrain. Uh, you go to AppBrain.com, and you just register with your Google account. Download the application onto your phone, um, which is right here. Um, you're just going to sign in, sync your applications, and then that's it. Your applications are, are uh, backed up. Uh, the only thing is with using app brains, the settings and stuff like that are not saved. It's just the application itself. So once you're all backed up, once everything's you know backed up and synced and whatnot, um, now we're going to put the, uh, the files onto your SD card. So you're going to pull the notification bar down, go from charge, to disk drive and just a side note make sure your battery is like 70 plus percent because it's going to drain some battery out once it's switched just give it a few seconds to pop up on your computer and there you go now this is the root of your SD card you're going to hear that term being tossed around a lot if you're going to get involved into this stuff basically it's just the main page of your SD card um, all you're going to do is take the ROM, drag it into your SD, give it a few seconds to put in, and if you're going to flash a kernel, also the kernel, again, just give it a few seconds to do what it's got to do, just close that, close that, go back to your phone, pull it down, go to disk drive, go to charge only, done. Now, you're going to power your phone off, and just give it a few seconds. Alright, you're going to take the phone, press and hold the down volume button and the power button at the same time. Press and hold it, don't let go. And it's going to go into the screen. You're going to have fast boot recovery, clear storage, sim lock, and age boot. Let's just go to recovery. And it's going to bring you to recovery. You have these are your options: reboot system, apply SD, wipe data, wipe cache, install zip, an Android partition in advance, and go back. What you're going to want to do first is go to an Android, and this is what's going to back up your entire system as is. So just hit back up, which I'm not going to do because I already did it. But just hit back up, and you'll see it go through the process of backing up. Once it's done backing up, it's going to bring you back to the screen, the main screen, with the reboot, apply, wipe, and stuff like that. Now is when you're actually going to flash the ROM, uh, the ROM in the kernel. But before you do that, you have to wipe everything. You have to wipe data and factory reset. Then you're going to go to wipe cache partition. Then go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. 
Now I'm using Clockwork. If you're going to use RA, there's a separate section that specifically says wipe and you'll see all three uh, listed together. So once you wipe all three, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD, hit the volume up, it'll bring it to the bottom, and just select the ROM that you picked. The one I have here is Min Warm 2.2. Hit that, hit yes to install, and it's going to install it. And while that installs, I'm going to eat some potato chips. Now, while this does this, um, if you have any problems doing this, don't ask any questions on the YouTube page. Just go to uh, this website, just follow my fing my finger is, and just post any questions on there. That's going to be a link to uh, the Android Central hack section. There's uh, quite a few good guys in there, and you know, we try to help out as much as we can. All right, the ROM is flashed. Now, if you don't want to flash a kernel, you can just stop right here. Just make sure you hit go back. If uh, all you want to do is just flash a ROM, that's fine. Just go to reboot system now. If you want to flash a different kernel, then you go to wipe cache partition. You go to, to advanced again and wipe Dalvik. Now, like I said, if you don't want to flash a kernel, that's okay. All ROMs come with kernels. It's okay. Now, if let's say you already have your ROM set up and you want to try a different kernel, basically the same steps. You just can turn your phone off, go to recovery, except for you don't have to wipe data. Just wipe cache and wipe Dalvik, then flash the kernel, and then go to reboot system now. Now, it's another heads up. The first time uh, your new ROM boots up, it might take a little bit longer than usual. Don't don't panic. I mean, if it's sitting there for 10 minutes, then you might have to do a battery pull. But for the most part, it's that, it, usually it's going to sit at, a, at the boot screens a little bit longer than usual.
and there you go. Just gonna go through the usual uh, initial setup, just like you did when you first got your phone. Nothing different. And that's it. You were all set. So again, just uh, go over it. Basically, you're going to pick out your ROM, download the ROM. If you want a uh, different kernel, download the kernel. But again, it's not necessary. Um, back up your contacts, back up your applications if you want. You're going to go to disk drive, copy the ROM and the kernel if you so choose so. To your SD card, you're going to go back into charge. You're going to turn your phone off. Go to recovery, you're going to flash um, data, cache, and Dalva cache. There you go. Um, actually, sorry, you're going to go to recovery, do an Android backup, and then you're going to wipe the data, cache, and Dalvik, flash the ROM, and reboot, and you're good to go. Now, let's say you try to ROM out. It's not working right, it's forced closing, or you just don't like it. Well, all is not lost. And this is why you did that backup. What you can do is you go to pop. Power off. And do the same thing you did last time. Hold the down button and the power button at the same time. It's going to bring you back to the screen. Go to recovery. And if you're going to do an Android restore, you don't have to wipe anything. Just go to an Android, restore, pick the latest one, or organized by date. Hit yes to restore, and that's it. It'll restore exactly how you left it when you did the backup.